What is going on everybody? Blake with the Linux Fraud and today I want to uh, talk to you about a new plugin for Plasma that just recently came out. Uh, if you don't know, back in the day, well not really back in the day, just earlier this year, uh, Kwin Bismuth, which is a fork of an old school plugin called Cronkite, it basically turned KDE into a tiling window manager. Uh, Bismuth was honestly really, really good. Gave you colored borders, you could have a master stack layout, you could change the kind of layout that you wanted. Uh, it was it was, it was was really good, honestly, in turning KDE into basically a window manager. Well, back in January, Bismuth was deprecated. Uh, you know, I think sometimes people forget that these developers that make these really awesome applications, I mean, they do all this shit for free. At some point down the line, Bismuth became less a priority for the developer, uh, I'm assuming just because life, you know, life happens, life is busy, and he deprecated it. And one of the main reasons, too, was because KDE has a, um, has a tiling feature built into it now, but it's not that good. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's definitely not, you know, <laughs> in the same tier as Bismuth. And you could still use Bismuth to this day, it does work but it is deprecated, so I mean use at your own risk. And also, it doesn't work very well on Waylon. Bismuth was specifically, or maybe not specifically, but mainly for Xorg. And since KDE defaults to Waylon now, and that's the way that we're moving, we kind of need, we need a Bismuth replacement, right? Um, kind of a successor to Bismuth. So with that, let me introduce you to Polonium. Polonium is the unofficial successor to Bismuth. Just how Bismuth was uh, specifically for Xorg, uh, and it didn't work very well on Waylon, at least whenever I tried it. Polonium is specifically for Waylon. And uh, it has been, it says right here that it's been tested briefly on X11, but it's not officially supported. So this is definitely going the Waylon route. That's the way the developers are taking it. And yeah, I don't know. Um, Polonium definitely has a lot of work to do. I think for how new it is, I think it's 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 pretty good. It's at least good enough for me to use it and stick on uh, Plasma for a while. So I figured, you know, this thing's new. I'm on Plasma. I just learned about it because <laughs> I literally, when I installed Plasma, I, I went through a painstaking night of distro hopping and window manager hopping and everything. And just shit wasn't going well, right? It was one of those days. And so I said, you know what, screw it. I haven't been on Plasma in a while. Let's check that out. As soon as I installed it, I'm like, wow, this is like coming home, you know, because I used to use uh, KDE Plasma a lot back in the day. And yeah, I kind of missed it. But my mind went instantly to, oh, wait, shit, bismuth. It's deprecated. What am I going to do for tiling? Because I, I mean, come on, I need my tiling windows. I, it just... Once you, once you start using window managers or at least using tiling windows, I don't... I just, you can't go back. It's kind of tough to go back. Luckily, these developers have came up with Polonium. Spoilers, I don't really have anything, like any cons or anything negative to say about this, especially because it's so new. Um, it, it's a little buggy here and there. There are things that could be worked on, but looking at, you know, I've been checking out the uh, GitHub page, kind of paying attention to it, and the last commit was like yesterday or something, or... <laughs> two hours ago. So people are definitely working on this. And I really, I have a feeling that this is going to take Bismuth's place. And I'm happy for that. I am. Uh, because Bismuth was such a great application. And if this can get up to the tier of Bismuth, I think that's super awesome. So I figured why not? Let's just go through, check it out. Uh, there's not much to check out, but uh, yeah, just give my opinion and my thoughts on it. But before we do that, consider hitting that like button because it does help out the channel way more than you know, and also consider subscribing. So Polonium, an unofficial successor to Bismuth. Uh, there's not much right here on the GitHub page. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You can either build this from source or what I did was actually, um, you can go into your settings and under window management, you can go to the Kwin scripts and you can add it right in here. If you just go to get new scripts, you don't even have to search for it. At least I didn't, it popped up like right on the home page. So you can install it that way. If we go in here, once you get it installed and you click on this little uh, systems icon, you can see this is the settings menu. Now it's not, there's not a lot to it, but there's a few things. So. I recommend just using the defaults. The only thing I changed was the uh, B tree insertion point. This B tree, from what it seems like, this gives you kind of like a, a master stack layout. Not exactly, because as you can see, 
If we go over here and start opening up terminals, that's not master stack. But see me personally, I only split my windows into two, like at most. Well, well, sometimes I'll use a third window, but that's literally max. I'm never going over three. And that third window that I'm opening, it's usually just a terminal or something that I'm running a quick command on or maybe writing down a note or something like that. And then that's instantly getting closed after that. So I just need two windows. I'm not putting, you know, four or five, six windows on my screen because I just think that's kind of crazy. What's the point? You have 10 workspaces or however many you want on Plasma. You can have as many as you want, basically, or at least up to 20 or something like that, I think. So I don't need to put a bunch of fucking windows on one workspace. But here it is. Here's the, uh, here's the settings. Now, see... I've tried this border thing. That was the one thing that I really liked about Bismuth is that you could set, just like a window manager, right? You can set colored borders. Whatever window is focused will have a border around it. Bismuth did, had that too. I can't get that to work or, and I'm assuming that's what border visibility is supposed to be, but whatever. I mean, no borders is fine. It's not like a, it's not a deal breaker for me, right? Uh, I think it looks fine. And then there's a few different layouts. There's B tree, there's half, there's three column. Three column is like fairly similar to how I3 is, uh, you know, like by default, if you do three window or if you split three windows in I3, they're all horizontal or I'm sorry, vertical. And that's kind of like the same layout there. Kwin, I don't exactly know what that is. I'll be honest, whenever I started messing with the, like changing the settings and everything, and not sticking to the defaults. Windows kind of started spazzing and glitching out. Yeah, I actually had to end up, I went and deleted the script. The first time I went and played with all the settings and everything right, and then it totally messed it up. It was starting to do some weird things with the windows. So I deleted the script, installed it again, and then I just kept defaults. The only thing I changed was this, is this insertion point because before that third window, how you can see it comes down here. I like it on that side, it's more, master stack layout ish but before it would actually spawn over here on the left side and i don't really like that there isn't a lot to the settings right now and i honestly i don't think there needs to be a bunch of settings right i mean this is specifically a plugin to tile your windows and that's really all you need it for i would assume that most people use a master stack layout i don't know i could be totally wrong to get an actual master stack layout that would be really cool but yeah i mean other than that you can filter windows right up here you could pick any applications that you don't want tiled you can tile pop-up windows which i can I, i've noticed that if and not even specifically with this Sometimes that gets a little wonky. That'll tile like your notification uh, menu. That'll that'll tile just all like the pop-ups and everything, all the pop-up windows, like it says. And sometimes that can kind of get a little buggy. Uh, and I'm not even specifically talking about this. I've even had that like on window managers and stuff. Uh, you can maximize single windows. So right here, I know it's kind of tough to see. Well, actually, let me just open. If you open up uh, Thunar, you can see this isn't technically maximized. Maximize would be that that would be maximized but you can go in here and you can maximize single windows which would mean that i mean every time you open a single window if it be your browser or terminal it's going to maximize obviously uh, you do have to notice this little note right down here if you do make any changes you have to go and disable and then re-enable the script for it to work but that's pretty much the settings um, other than that there's not very much to go over i mean i think it it works, right? Like this right here, usually I have a terminal and my browser. That's usually what I'm doing. I'm either like doing a write-up or doing some research on a video or something. And this is pretty much what I need. Um, sometimes, like I said, I'll need another one just to write out a little note or something. But that's the extent of, <laughs> of my needs. I guess, you know, so if somebody needs some, if somebody's needs are, are, are greater than that and they don't like the uh, specific layouts that are given with this, then I could see them maybe not liking it. But I would assume that most people, they really only, they tile their windows like two to three windows, right? I, I'm not, and I could be totally wrong, I'm not saying that there's nobody out there that has 10 fucking terminals open on one uh, workspace, but I don't do that. I would say the majority of people don't do that. And I think for the majority of people, if they're running Plasma, this is going to work very well for you. Now you might be asking, well, what's the difference between this and the default tiling window uh, plugin that KDE already has? Honestly, I don't think there's much, if any really at all. But personally for me, I cannot get the default 
the integrated tiling window system to work on Plasma. I don't know. I can open it and I can set these, but then whenever I try and open up windows, they, they're just floating. They don't tile. So I don't know, maybe it's a setting that I have to turn on or something, but I don't think it is. Uh, I mean, the, the key binding for it works right here, but anytime I set those up, it just, it doesn't work. So that kind of bummed me out, but luckily I found out about Polonium. Now, the only con I have, I guess one con would be not being able to have um, like the colored borders, but that's not even really a con. I'm assuming that that would be, that would be a feature that's implemented later on in the future. But I've noticed, and it, I just noticed it today uh, because I tried to whip up, I was gonna whip up a virtual machine to show you the difference between this and Bismuth. But whenever I open up Virtual Machine Manager, Vertman, now this works, the menu works, right? But then when I open up a, when I open up an actual virtual machine, this is fine right here, but whenever I try to full screen it, it keeps, it keeps my, uh, it keeps my bar up here. It doesn't cover that up. And now I know that like in KDE, whenever you maximize your window, that bar, even if you have the floating bar, it'll like expand and come down. So it like meets with that maximized window. So that could just be a KDE thing, which if it is, that's super annoying because like for a virtual machine, I mean, you don't want your bar showing, right? You want, you want to be in that virtual machine. So I don't know if that's necessarily a, um, a polonium thing or just a KDE thing, but that is something that I noticed. Hey guys, Future Blake here. Uh, while editing this video, I actually messed around with it a little bit more and it is a KDE thing. So if you're having troubles with that, you go up here to edit mode, more options. And if you pop this on to auto hide, it will auto hide the bar and then you won't have that problem. So definitely not a polonium thing, definitely a KDE thing. Just wanted to add that in there. All right, back to the video. And I figured it's worth noting. If you go into the settings and you go into your shortcuts and you go right down here to KWIN. Now Bismuth used to have its own like tiling window uh, section right in here. Polonium doesn't have its own, but it is. it does get mushed into these settings. So you can see there's like, there's a key binding for cycle layouts, for focusing, so you can switch focus of the windows, you know, so you can focus left, above, below, right. You can focus different windows. You can resize tiles, which that works. As you can see, if I open up, say, two terminals, I have super shift left and right to resize windows. That works perfectly. There's not a bunch of settings. There was a lot of settings in like with Bismuth. For right now, I think these are pretty just the essential key bindings that you would need. You know, like I said, focusing windows, swapping windows, uh, resizing windows, pretty much everything that you're gonna need to have a functioning quote unquote window manager. You know, so final thoughts on the thing is it's it's good. It like I said, it's in its infancy stages. I think it's gonna go I think it's gonna go pretty far. I think the devs, they obviously know what Bismuth are or was. They probably used it themselves. They realized, oh shit, this sucks. We don't have Bismuth anymore. We need one we need something like that for Whalen. And they decided to create this. So like I said, I'm I'm super excited. I'm I'm glad that it's that it's out and it just came out not too long ago. Literally, as soon as I come back to Plasma, there's something that will at least give me uh, what I need for the most part. It's, it's good enough for now that I think I'm going to stay here for a while. But yeah, that was the video. If you guys have any questions, drop them down in the comments and I'll try to answer them as uh, best as I can. If you liked it, consider hitting that like button. If you want to support the channel, go over to uh, our Patreon. I would really appreciate that. I am going to start doing uh, patron-only monthly videos, so that's something to look forward to. Consider subscribing because we have a bunch more content coming your way. <laughs>